Hey guys, how's it going? Well, I meant to do this video yesterday, but I got to feeling really, really terrible. We had family come in, and so it was way too noisy, because I needed to do it on my computer here, because it opens up a bigger screen to record, to cover the information. Um, and I'm, doing, I'm knocking it out this morning <laughs> and getting it uploaded, because I'm still feeling worn out and I hurt my back yesterday a little bit. So I figure I better get it done now while I have enough energy to do it. So, this was emailed to me, and um, the the subject of the email said, take with a grain of salt. So that's what we're going to do here. But I do want to read this to you because there's some very interesting things here. And what's funny about what they share on here is some of the stuff they share. I already came to the realization of this a week ago um, by just watching what was going on. And it's like, oh, that looks like that that could be a possibility. So I wanted to share this with you because these people are seeing this too. But some of the information and where they're getting it from and what they note in here is kind of wild. And I wanted to share it before something happened and the information was taken down. Um, and it looks like some of it may be coming to pass. So this is Home Congregations Worldwide, Discipling Nations, One Community at a Time. <clears throat> Excuse me. You can see the website is up front. I'll put a link in the description if you guys want to dig a little deeper. And this article from January 14th is what is going on in D.C. You can see the little thing here. All these people back backstabbing president, all his advisors and all that. You guys remember that after that stuff happened, uh, that supposed Trump supporter riot, which turns out wasn't, um, there was a mass exodus of Republicans leaving the Trump party, leaving, hey, look, there's Geraldo back there, <laughs> leaving um, Washington. I mean, there's huge numbers of them leaving Washington. So what it looks like is it looks like maybe this was a, a planned, orchestrated uh, event to cast negative light on Trump to try to make sure he couldn't run again because they know that there's no way that they could beat him. They didn't beat him this time, though everybody's been telling everybody there's no substantiated evidence against, or that proves that there were, there was a tampering with the election, yet they've already gone into the server rooms and found the evidence. They've presented much of the evidence. And it's just been stonewall after stonewall. Personally, my issue with all this is I don't think they're being aggressive enough. I think they need to step up and say, mm, you know what, I think you just gave up some of your rights by doing what you're doing because this is a direct attack on the country and our Constitution, and that is a federal crime. So you get to go to jail, and they need to put them in jail. Be that as it may, I don't get to make those decisions. Be that as it may, uh, it's going to play out the way it's going to play out. And no matter what we hear or see or read, God is in control of all these things. Now let's read into this. Remember, grain of salt. Warning, we have received this info, yet we ask all of you to discern and take it to the Lord. There is a lot of disinfo right now. We do have faith in the folks who have shared this with us. We will correct anything we find out that is not right once we have verifi verifiable sources. Like I said, I'll put the link to this in the description so you can go dig further into this and look more. Um, we're just going to read the article. There's evidently a lot of comments, so other people may have added to this. This is very interesting. Sorry for the delay. We've been waiting to get more info before reaching out. We've been getting a lot of text and emails wondering where I went. Man, you guys are antsy. LOL. Okay, we had another Zoom call last night with retired generals, colonels, and also Lynn Wood. The fact that they put the names out there, the name of Lynn Wood out there, and there's I think there's a few other names they share, uh, should say something. Here's what they covered. Don't be alarmed. This one is pretty heavy but ends well. Everyone is upset and impatient that no trigger has been pulled yet. Exactly. But make no mistake, the president will do what is necessary to defend the Constitution. Much is being done out of public view. Now, see, I already came to that revelation. I was talking to people the next day after that thing happened in Washington, and I was like, you can look at Trump's face. He's got a plan. There's something going on. It's obvious because he's smiling all the time, even though this stuff is happening. And suddenly he's pulled way back. 25,000 troops are now in D.C., and that number has since gone up, under the guise of riot control for the inauguration. I've covered that in a video. I showed you guys, you know, there's, there's a problem there. Now, they have weapons now, but have you seen anybody with magazines? Nope. I haven't. 
And right now they've got all these troops, all these different places, and there's no one there rioting. So why are the troops still there? More troops across the country, all major Democrat cities, are on standby, which is one-hour recall. Now, they actually, in Michigan, they actually have um, a full uh, contingency of troops there. And there's no, there's no, nobody riding, nobody, nothing. It's all a show, guys. POTUS just designated Cuba as a terrorist state relating to the election interference. And you remember we covered about how they had found server rooms where all the election machines were sending all this information to server rooms in Spain and Germany and in Cuba. And they raided the one in Germany, the ones in Germany and Spain, found a lot of evidence, a lot of names that shouldn't have been there. POTUS just enlisted a number of Chinese companies for having businesses being done with them. I would actually like to see this list because I won't do business with them. The recent blackouts in Italy, the Vatican, Pakistan, and Iran were from our Space Force. They temporarily took out parts of the power grid from up there. This was in preparation for war with China and Iran. Remember what I told you guys about Daniel 8? Hello? Is anybody awake? Is anybody seeing this? Is anybody paying attention? Look, I didn't share that information about Daniel 8, and I've caught a lot of flack for this. I didn't share that information about Daniel 8 because I'm trying to be special, or I'm trying to become famous, or I'm trying to be the, the new kid on the block with the new information. I read that, and it's like, whoa, wait a second, that's happening right now. That's why I shared that, because we need to know. Because what Daniel 8 describes is shocking, and it tells us exactly where the Antichrist is coming from. It confirms a couple of choices that I've made on who I think he is. Just saying. This is why we don't listen to other people. We pay attention. Listen, but don't say that's the truth. We go prove the truth with the word. I got people telling me that this is all Antiochus Epiphanes. I'm like, okay, well, how does that, how much of it matches to him? Well, four of his generals took over his kingdom. Right. But when was he ever the first king? See, a lot of stuff doesn't match. You go back and look at what Antiochus Epiphanes did and how they relate Daniel 8 to him. Then you read Daniel 7, everybody agrees that's about the future Antichrist. You read Daniel 9, everybody agrees that's about the future Antichrist. Why would there be a chapter in between those two talking about somebody completely different? It doesn't make sense when it gives the same description. So to me, I think everybody's wrong in their assessment of Daniel 8. Completely wrong. I think there's a much more to this and we're not catching it. More and more, I'm seeing more stuff that's proving this. And what I've been telling you guys, look at this. They're, I've, I've been sharing stuff on the community tab. They're about, we're about to go to war with Iran. Bingo. Now, what's amazing is, and you guys read the, the first part of that sentence about these blackouts, my internet, and everybody in the house has been saying, well, it's because so many of us are on your Wi-Fi now. The thing was, my internet got super slow a day before they got here. Like web pages would take forever to load up. Uh, even when I would open YouTube, take forever to load up. Last night they tried to watch a movie on the Roku, and the it would buffered so much they couldn't finish watching it. And then all of a sudden, last night, went back to normal. <coughs> I don't know if anybody else had this problem, but I've never had that happen before here ever. And I've had over fifteen devices running off my Wi-Fi at one time. Never had that happen. So, currently I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven devices running off it. No issues. Anyway, it may be part of this, this part of what's going on here. Don't panic. Yes, absolutely don't panic. This isn't conventional war with tanks and bombs and bullets. It's cyber warfare, including satellites that can knock out communications and data centers. If you ever wondered why the Space Force was instituted by POTUS a while back, it wasn't just about going to Mars. It was for this. Other countries have satellites up there that can do stuff to us. We have them now, too, and they work. Now, remember what I told you about Daniel 8, how it sounded to me like it was an airstrike? Maybe it wasn't an airstrike. Maybe it's not going to be an airstrike. Maybe it's going to be this communications warfare. Still a goat not touching the ground, just saying. Coming across the whole earth makes sense because the whole earth is connected. So the, it may that may have been referring to cyber warfare. We'll dig into that here in a minute. 
There are now 250,000 Chinese troops surrounding us, 75,000 in Canada and the rest in Mexico. The general said if they set foot in this country, they will be wiped out swiftly as they are ready. I know this is scary, but hang on, everything will be fine. Right away, people can say that doesn't sound even poss even remotely truth truthful. Remember when Venezuela fell apart? Do you remember how many Russian and Chinese troops went down there and set up camp? They're still there. And they've been flying more in ever since that happened. That was 2020. Early 2020. No, that was 2019. So for them to say this, I completely believe it because they've already been down there. The reason why they went down there was to get closer to our border. And they, they admitted why they were there. Strategic placement. They've been doing it for a long time. POTUS at the wall in Texas yesterday, I watched that video, was a signal to let China know he means business as a sign and that he is in charge. Now, after reading, the, after hearing this, go watch that video and, and see the cues that are in the speech. POTUS will be getting in front of people to produce evidence so the people know he is the real elected president. I don't need to see the evidence. I've seen enough. I, I, I still think he's still president. He may have to use the emergency alert system to do this in two to three days, which may be coming. When I give you a timeline or dates, they can be disinformation given to us on purpose, so we will not be told the real dates as our calls are being listened to. I think it's going to happen here pretty quick. I don't know. I, I know one thing is I've seen enough evidence that tells me that it's all BS. And this has just a, been an ongoing situation. The mayor of Oklahoma City was informed by POTUS on Monday via email that the Insurrection Act has been enacted and arrests will begin in that city. This is the first of many cities this will happen in. You, have you guys noticed the, the videos kind of buried back in the background talk, talking about these arrests? So we now have confirmation that the Insurrection Act is in place. Now, I want you to keep in mind about something here. Everybody's all fired up. Get Trump out, get Trump out. Even Christians, get Trump out. He's the Antichrist, get him out. Well, in 2016, Trump filed a state of emergency because of voter fraud and, and voter tampering. That state of emergency is still in effect. They just never told anybody. That causes problems for a presidential election. If the Insurrection Act has been enacted, that also causes a problem for a presidential election. If we go to war with Iran, that will be a declaration of war, and no president can take over office under a declaration of war. The war, the operation has to be in process. It has to be already functioning, like when Obama took over for Bush. That, process, that war was already going. All he had to do was take over where he picked up and just keep on going. You can't declare war and then swap presidents. It doesn't work. You can't do it. That's like the ultimate destructive, destructive uh, event you can possibly do to a country. So there's a lot of stuff right there that's keeping Biden out of office that's going to stop him from taking. But what do you see the media, media saying? Oh, he's the president. Everything's going to be fine. Well, I beg to differ. I beg to differ. Don't believe the media. It's all optics. Absolutely. One colonel noted that in war, it's important to draw your enemy out in the open. POTUS has been doing exactly that. You remember whenever all that stuff happened and he suddenly just pulled back and got quiet? And you know, almost every time you see him, he's got a smile on his face. He got real quiet because he was letting everything play out. And look what happened. All the people that weren't on his side exposed themselves within a day. Look at all the rats that have been revealing their true identity. POTUS has been sep separating the wheat from the chaff, especially these past two weeks. And what do we see happening? I mean, some of those Republicans have been, have been arrested. They just haven't told anybody. They've been put under arrest. I see little reports here and there about it because of what they were doing. They're not really Republicans. They're Democrats in disguise. This election was cyber warfare on our country. A paper was sent to the White House on the voting in four states that showed Chinese cyber techs moving votes from Trump to Biden. They have proof of this now. They've, they've had proof. This is a foreign country involved in our elections. So this has been escalated from a domestic issue to an attack from a foreign enemy. It's a declaration of war. This has moved from a constitutional voting issue to a national security issue now. It's a declaration of war. What has China been talking about how they're going to take us out? 
They're going to take us out from the inside. What about Russia? They've said it too. You go scroll back a few years, you find these, these videos. You can find those news articles talking about them, admitting this. COVID was a biological attack on our country to shut down our economy and push the mail-in ballots nationwide in order to pull off the steel along with the Dominion machines. I completely agree. Because the problem with what's going on right now, none of it makes any sense. None of it. How is it in one year, less than one year, we cured the common cold? Have you any, has anybody gone and looked at the numbers of of flu cases that have been reported? It's almost nothing. It's because they're lying. They're lying. Again, when I go and I buy a mask, and it's the neck gaiter type mask, and it's made out of the same material my fishing shirt is made out of, you can literally hold it up to the light and see through it. That does not stop biologicals. It does not protect anyone. Do not be... Stupid. Don't let them lie to you. Those little paper masks that they have you wearing does not protect you against COVID. It says it on the package. The minimum mask is N95 or P100. Minimum. And even that isn't good enough. Because if your eyes are exposed, it'll go right in your eyes. And I hear all these excuses. No. Look, a basic... Search shows you what the right amount of protective wear you're supposed to have, and it's full body covering. It's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. Anyway, some people just enjoy being lied to because they get to have their internet. I, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm not far away from cutting all this stuff off and just completely um, exiling myself from anything socially um, attached. I'm really, really, really on the fence about how much longer I'm going to keep a cell phone and keep a computer account. Because I want to be as far disconnected from this world as I possibly can. The only thing keeping me here is talking to you guys and sharing what I have with you guys. But you know what? If the Lord gives me permission, I'm out. <laughs> I'm, I'm disconnecting everything. I ain't never going to know where I'm at or what I'm doing. I'm just tired of it. Because they're using this as a weapon. And it's not. It's not. It wasn't originally meant to be, I guess, but... So we can look at this stuff and we can tell quite clearly what's happened. <clears throat> the virus was a man-made bioweapon, we know that, created in a Wuhan lab. Actually, it wasn't created in a Wuhan lab, it was created here. And they took it to Wuhan to, to finish it and release it. To take out as many of our elderly and the weak as possible to incite more fear globally. They needed the death counts to rise to continue their plan to take over the country. This is why every death was marked as a COVID death, regardless if they had it or not. Remember what I told you? You don't die from COVID. You die from other diseases that COVID helps make worse because COVID wears out your immune system. COVID messes with your lungs. All the young people that have died, what do they die of? Respiratory issues. Go look at the reports. All the old people that died, what do they die of? And a pre-existing condition that was exacerbated because they got COVID and weakened their system to fight it. The numbers don't lie. And it's funny because their own numbers tell on them. The few children that have died from it, what did they die of? Compromised immunal response to a respiratory issue. But they've never been diagnosed with respiratory issues. Just because they haven't been diagnosed with it doesn't mean they didn't have it. I can have respiratory issues as a kid and it never manifests until I'm in my 30s. And suddenly, oh, you got respiratory. Yeah, you had this since you were a kid. No kidding. See, we have to use our heads. We have to think sober-mindedly. We have to go at this from a place of, I'm not going to trust anything until I can prove it. And what happens when you prove it? You find out where the lies are. This is all a put-up deal. This is all a plan. This is all a ploy, and we need to stand up against it. We need to take a stand. The generals are General Flynn, so they're throwing out names. That that's pretty, pretty me that means something encouraged us all as patriots to resist all across this country and yes canada too take off your mask go to church and open your businesses what did i tell you this morning in morning prayer i i i agree with this i think we should just 
call them out on their BS and move forward. If I can find a church around here to go, I'm going. If I find a church that's open, I'm going. Let's go. Let's let's roll. Come on. Come on. They can't stop us when we all resist. They can't put us all in jail. Can't put a whole country in jail. There aren't enough jail cells to hold everyone. Those were our orders to get the message out to the masses. There is no mandate in our constitutional law to keep people from seeing each other or close their businesses. And I, There's a couple of times I've called people out on that. Well, it's mandated by the, by the government. It's a mandate, not a law. Yeah, but you're supposed to follow mandates. It's a mandate. It's a request. Please do this. There is no law that says you have to wear a mask. None. The Capitol building attack was Antifa and BLM driven. Yep. Remember the video I did? Remember where I was calling out the radio show hosts who were saying, well, we don't know. Wrong. We do know. It was obvious because the idiots posted it on their social media that they were doing it. All tactical deception, as they call it in the military. It's common practice. It's very common. So these guys are calling out the very same thing we've already been talking about. And they're naming names of people up in the government that are saying, hey, y'all, here's the deal. I find that very intriguing. Okay, no one is getting, whoops, come on. Okay, no one is getting newt, and you don't need to take this at its worst, but you need to be prepared. Agree. Now, how do you prepare? Filling your house with stuff? No. And there's people that are saying, Stock up, stock up, stock up. No, don't stock up. You don't need to. How are you going to haul it? Do you have a vehicle that can haul it? Is your little SUV going to be able to haul five years worth of food? No. Does that make sense? Do you th really think that you're going to be able to stay where you are and wait the whole thing out? No. Christ said, do not do not lay up for the day of the Lord. Three to six months maximum. That you can theoretically haul in a vehicle with you. But, and it does no good if you don't know how to use it. So you need to get training and learn how to use it. A book on what's edible in the wilderness and a good knife, you're golden. But what are people doing? Making big business out of food that they say lasts 25 years and doesn't, and it tastes horrible. I did a video on that. There's a playlist talking about that. It's horrible. I emailed that company and said, I no longer want to do business with this company. Take me off your email list. Do not contact me with anything. And they did. There could be blackouts. Internet down. Ding, ding, ding. What did I just tell you? About my internet having problems? Yeah. Cell phones down for short periods. Already been happening. I got people telling me they're sending me text messages. I got nothing. Make sure you have ways to keep your food cold, etc. Generator. If the power goes out, don't panic. Democrat-controlled and big cities may be hit the worst because BLM and Antifa will riot and loot when Biden isn't seated. Did you hear what he said? When Biden isn't seated. Give me just a second. Hello? Hi, this is Dan from U.S. Credit Card. Ain't got time for you, Dan. When Biden isn't seated... Now, when is that supposed to happen? January 20th, two days. I'm sharing this information with you because you may not see what they're telling you you're going to see. That's why the military is on standby. I know the number of Chinese troops around us is a scary thing, but they are only coming in if Biden was seated. You hear that? They're only going to enter the country if Biden gets seated. Remember what I told you? If Biden gets seated, this will be the last election we ever see? Yep. Dictatorship instantaneously. They don't want no one else to take control. And once they get control, they're never going to let it go. Now, here's the problem. There's a restraining force on the earth keeping them from doing it. Have you heard all the talk of UFOs? They're going to expose this. They're going to expose that. In the COVID bill, they have this thing about full disclosure on UFOs. Why is that in the COVID bill? That doesn't make sense. But it's there. And they, have, they gave them 180 days. 
Already documents are coming out. Already stuff is being exposed. Tons of stuff is being exposed. Why haven't they presented themselves? Oh, I don't know, maybe because they're demons and the restraining force of the Holy Spirit is keeping them from doing it? So what do you think it's going to take for them to fully expose themselves? What do you think it's going to take for the powers that be that are trying to seek our destruction will take to fully expose their plan? The removal of the restraining force. That's us. That's the rapture of the church. No. Tell me how, how close you think that is now. Then, then they would start the move on changing our country. It's not a pretty thought, but that's not happening. I know the Joint Chiefs put out a letter. They are supporting the new President Biden on the 20th. What else are they supposed to say right now? It's all optics to keep things calm. Remember, if POTUS doesn't stop this, he will be hunted down and arrested along with his entire family by the left. That's a fact. And with him gone, our country is gone too. He knows this. He's not going to sit there and do nothing. From now to the 19th is showtime. We just don't know exactly when. Today's the 18th. So yes, we are in a full-blown military operation right now to remove the threats and install our president back in power and control the violence in the big cities. Keep in mind, if the lights go out and Biden is not president, it's not China coming in here. It's us knocking out the lights to weed out the bad guys. Massive arrests will be happening then. They've already started. On a side note, the Space Force has actually been around a long time. POTUS is the one that disclosed it to all of us. It used to be called the Secret Space Program. Remember when Rumsfeld announced $2 trillion had gone missing and they didn't know where it went? I remember that. He announced that the day before 9-11. The next day, a plane struck the Pentagon in the exact place where those files were kept. The money went to build the Secret Space Program. POTUS is using it to protect us. This isn't, this isn't a secret. It's just that the American people don't want to know about it. But it's very easy to find this information. We've been, many of us out here, I include myself in this group, have been warning about this for years and years and years. And you can't find my other videos because I deleted them all when I was a vlogger. We shared this information. We were warning people and nobody believed us. Well, now it's here. Everything we are hearing and seeing in the news is all optics, and the corruptors are in full panic in D.C. This war is all about implementing the new republic in order to introduce to the world a new currency. It's not going to be a new republic. It's going to be a new, um, a new uh, dictatorship. Uh, to introduce to the world a new currency that is gold asset-backed and run off the new quantum financial system, which replaces the central banks and SWIFT. It's not going to be gold-backed. There isn't enough gold to back it. It's going to be computer information. That's it. Bitcoin. Do you own Bitcoin? Well, you might just be able to buy something. But don't bet on it. Because just as quickly as you got it, they can take it away. It's all computer controlled. 209 countries have signed on. Yes, I know Google says there are 196 countries, but the UN recognizes 251. Do you remember hearing about that last uh, 2019? They're like, why does this happen? SOS Mike Pompeo did the satellite test Monday via Voice of America to all 209 countries with over 40 languages translating in real time. This has never been done before. This was this test to see how many network channels would cover it, and there wasn't one. They did it again the next day, and they know that they can circumvent big tech to communicate with the USA and Canada, first priority, and the rest of the world using the new EAS system alert system. Have you noticed big tech scrambling all of a sudden? Maybe they know about this. Everything they are panicked about is the world finding out about their pedophilia and child sex trafficking rings, which we know about. They have all profited from for decades. The president loves this country and loves the people and is committed to financially restore all that has been lost since COVID started. Today, we have seen executive orders for Georgia, Pennsylvania, Connecticut, Utah, and Louisiana declaring them a state of emergency for disaster. This is for the military to move into place, which will be completed by tonight. The president is very patient and still holds all the trump cards, and they know it. He has cornered them all like rats in a corner. Also keep in mind, also keep in mind, this is all unprecedented. We are in a war already. People being taken off Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and or having thousands of followers taken away if you have supported this president or speak out against the lockdowns or vaccines. Even the president himself was silenced. This is communism and it's already here. This isn't America. That's why POTUS will fight. Be patient.
you notice my poem I put up on the community tab? You notice I spelled algorithm wrong? Did you think it was an accident? It was on purpose. Because some of us know what's going on. A lot of people have given me grief and made fun of me about spe spelling things wrong. Well, maybe there's a reason why I'm doing that. Maybe there's a reason why a whole lot of people are doing that. Maybe there's a reason behind everything that we're doing. Because depending on how you use certain words and in what context, your videos get taken down immediately. I had a video taken down yesterday. Actually, I beat them to the punch. But So... We have to pay very close attention to what's going on. We have to understand that these things are real. This stuff is happening. Now, everything that's contained in this, is it is it accurate? I don't know. Probably not. And things may change. But a lot of this is accurate, and a lot of us already knew these things were happening because we've already seen the information. I'm sharing this with you because this is the best consolidated uh, thing I've seen. And most of this, yeah, most of this is legit. Of course, people are going to disagree. That's fine. Let's see. Um, even the president himself was silenced. This is communism, and it's already here. This isn't America. That's why POTUS will fight. Be patient. What we need to do is share this to get the message out to, uh, out to trust the plan. As Lynn Wood said, all lies will be revealed. The outcome will be glorious. I'm going to show you something. Just wait. We may begin to see things as early as tonight, and we are hearing that it will become hot around the 18th and 19th. It is currently 1025 Central Standard Time. What do you think might happen today? Stay in prayer, stay in faith. This is for our freedom, and we will win. Well, we've already won with Christ. Now, here's what I want to show you. Consider this, because I hadn't fully considered this. To me, what Daniel 8 talks about is an airstrike, but... It very well could be let's see uh, Daniel 8 5 and as I was considering suddenly a male goat came from the West across the surface of the whole earth now you right away you could say oh, that's, that's an airstrike but if it was the surface of the entire earth after reading that article Electronic, it kind of makes sense because that covers the whole earth without touching the ground. And the goat had a notable horn between his eyes. You heard about um, heard about Trump the, being under great rage, being very angry because all the stuff that's happening. Daniel 8, 7, and I saw him confronting the ram. He was moved with rage against him, attacked the ram, and broke his two horns. There was no power in the ram to withstand him, but he cast him to the ground and trampled him. And there was no one that could deliver the ram from his hand. You could electronically wipe out the country of Iran merely by completely obliterating their economy, which everyone's economy is attached to electronic computer system. Digital. We're under digital war. Therefore, the male goat grew very great, but when he became strong, the large horn was broken. Now, this, if, if this is actually talking about what we're seeing right now, it could be assassination. He could get sick. He could have an accident. Something could happen. Large horn, we don't know. Large horn was broken, and in place of it, four notable ones came up toward the four winds of heaven. That would probably be four Democrats taking over. And we have a lot of talk of succession in this country right now. Texas is already applying their paperwork. Many other states are joining them. It is not hard to see that this country could bust into four pieces very, very easily. Very easily. When I read this, that's what it reminds me of. Reading about him coming across the whole earth, now that I think about it, the electronic, an electronic attack makes a whole lot of sense, and that article talked about that. So, yeah. That could, this could be what this is talking about. And then what it says after that is talks about the Antichrist, the little horn. 
this is talking about America, that means the Antichrist is here in our country. And he will come out of our country. And we'll do whatever he's going to do. You guys already know who I think it is. Now, I'm not watching for him because I don't care. I'm watching for the Lord. Our, our real Lord. But the information, and we know, we can trust what the word says. The information makes sense. And it points to only a couple of people. Then we have this happening, Daniel 8.10, and it grew up to the host of heaven and it cast down some of the host and some of the stars to the ground and trampled them. You go to Revelation chapter 12. And you can see a very interesting um, play on words here. And this is what I think. Because see, what this is saying in Daniel 8 never happened back during Ep um, Epiphany's reign. This never happened. People keep saying Daniel 8 is about Antiochus Epiphanes. This, what I'm reading right now to you, down here in verse 10 and, and on, never happened. Even the, the previous couple of verses, it never happened. That never happened there. So how does this apply to him? See, there, when I read this, there's too much evidence that says this applies to right now, to what we're seeing. And it's something that people haven't been able to come to terms with because the book of Daniel is still being opened. Now let's run over to Revelation. Revelation chapter 12. Now a great sign appeared in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and on her head a garland of 12 stars. Then being with child, she cried out in labor, in pain, to give birth. Birth pains. And another side appeared in heaven. Behold, a great fiery red dragon having seven heads and ten horns and seven diadems on his heads. His tail drew a third of the stars of heaven and threw them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman who was ready to give birth to devour her child as soon as it was born. You remember what I told you about verse 5. The first child was received into heaven. The, first, the Greek word for that child is son. The second child is for children, daughters and sons. That child was harpazoed. Then the woman fled into the wilderness. Okay, so... If this is talking about what I'm seeing here, and that second child is the body of Christ, is the bride, and we see the tail throwing a third of the, the dragon's tail throwing a third of the stars down, which we know that this current group of countries right now, we're seeing the dragon. We saw a dragon born in 2019 with the 70 nation coalition headed by Israel. Who did we just side with? Israel? Hello? If we see that happening, what's going on back here in Daniel? And it grew up to the host of heaven, and it cast down some of the host and some of the stars to the ground and trampled them. Hmm. Sound kind of similar? Maybe. I don't know. Just saying. This is why we really need to read and study. You start finding references that link to each other, and it's like, wait a second, I never saw that before. Yeah, nobody has. It's because the Bible is opening up. God's exposing this stuff to all of us. Then he takes away the sacrifices. This is talking about the Antichrist in the beginning of the tribulation. Now what does he tell us? Daniel 8, 13. Then I heard a holy one speaking. And another holy one said to that certain one who was speaking, How long will the vision be? concerning the daily sacrifices and the transgression of desolation, the giving of both the sanctuary and the host to be trampled underfoot. And he said to me, for 2,300 days, that's 6.2 years, then the sanctuary shall be cleansed. The sanctuary is going to be cleansed because Christ is coming. So we have a time stamp for the day of Christ. So we count backwards 2,300 days. And you know that the first couple of months, the first nine months, or not nine to ten months, into the tribulation is when a bunch of that stuff is going to take place. Now, we still don't know when the tribulation is going to start. 
But this is very interesting because there's other places that we can tie into this and started to get a very accurate time frame of when these things are going to take place. Surprise, surprise, we're right on top of it. Now, another interesting thing you can take from this here in Daniel, comparing it to Revelation chapter 12, is we can get a, an idea of when the rapture is going to take place. Almost to the month, almost to the week. If we start to see these things happen, which, amazingly enough, we're seeing them happen, and we watch this happen, all this. See, the only way the first sign, the first seal can be opened is if we're gone. We have to be out of the way. The restrainer has to be out of the way. First Thessalonians, Second Thessalonians. The restrainer has to be out of the way. When the restrainer is out of the way, then this right here can happen. So how is that large horn broken? Rapture, maybe? Here comes the rider on the white horse. He can only be exposed. He can only expose himself when we're gone. You know what's really, really amazing? Is the cabal and the kabod and all them, they know this. They know this. They're waiting for us to leave. The other powers that be, many, most governments in the world, they know this stuff. They've all been talking already. There's been secret meetings about this. They are aware of this. And some of their speech is cryptic, but you can hear them talking about it in their speech. So you now see the events surrounding, well, uh, my opinion, you read this for yourself, but you can see some events surrounding possible rapture here. If this ties to Revelation chapter 12. I'm just reading what the Bible says, guys, and how it, it looks like it's really pointing to these things. And what we just read in that article seems to confirm a whole lot of this stuff. But nobody talks about this. Nobody exposes this. So far, I think I'm one of three people that I've found so far in two years that are talking about Daniel 8 and what we're seeing in the world today. To me, that's amazing. That's shocking. Because it's so clear. Now, you go down here from Daniel 8, 15 on, and it gives an interpretation of the vision. It just confirms more of what we know. It confirms that Daniel 8 is not talking about Antiochus Epiphanes. It confirms that these things that we're seeing very, very likely tie to this. And the two most important statements that tell me this is for our time, not for back then, is Daniel 8.17 and Daniel 8.19. So he came near where I stood, and when he came, I was afraid and fell on my face. But he said to me, understand, son of man, that the vision refers to the time of the end. The end did not happen 2,000 plus years ago. Otherwise, why are we still here? Verse 19, and he said, look, I am making known to you what shall happen in the latter time of the indignation. Remember the video I did about that? Or I don't know if I ever did that video. For at the appointed time, the end shall be. The end was not during Antiochus Epiphany's time frame. That's Preterism. The end is our time. These two verses from Daniel 8 tell me that Daniel 8 is not talking about 2,400 years ago. It's talking about right now because we're witnessing it happen. And there is only one person that has ever been referred to as the first king in all of human history, and that's Trump. Now, there are other people who were the first king. But no one's ever been referred to as the first king. And you remember what it talks about in here? Daniel 8, 21. And the male goat is the kingdom of Greece, or in the King James, Grecia, which means Grecian territory. Have you looked at our architecture? It's Greco-Roman. Our government is based on Greco-Roman design. The large horn that is between its eyes is the first king. Antiochus Epiphanes was not the first king. He was the first king to put his face on a coin, but he was not the first king. So that X's him out of this. And it tells us exactly who he's attacking. Media Persia. It's Iran. They're probably going to wipe out Syria along the way. Ezekiel 38. Bam.
this may or may not be the last time I discuss this. I've discussed this a lot because I'm seeing us progressing directly towards this being fulfilled. I may not say any more about this and just watch and see and let people find out for themselves when they see it happen. But I'm telling you guys, what I'm reading here, we may have a very clear indicator of the precursory events that lead up to the deliverance of the church. If this is happening, that means the rapture of the church is right on top of us. If this is an indicator, all this stuff is an indicator of when it may happen. Because the Antichrist can only be revealed after we're gone. Then you can see right here the things that will be leading up to that final day. Am I setting a date? Nope, because I still don't know the date. But I'll tell you one thing. I can sure see an indicator of the time, time of year is going to be in. And the events that surround it. Just saying. Read the Bible for yourselves, guys. It's there. Ask the Lord to show you these things, and he'll show them to you. You don't have to believe me. I'm not asking anybody to believe me. I'm asking people to take the time to look for themselves, to read for themselves. Because to me, this is very telling. It's very striking. It's very interesting. Because... What, what people, other people say doesn't match. It doesn't match. So read Daniel 8 for yourself. Go read that article. Look at this stuff. It, it, it all speaks. And ask God to show you the truth, and he will show you the truth. So I will link this in the description. So you can go dig into it more. You can look on this website. You can find more information. Uh, I don't know anything about these people. I'm just sharing this article. So I'll leave it up to you to decide what you want to take and not take um looks like there's probably other yeah there's other articles here along the right side under recent posts that look like they probably tie to this so it would probably behoove you to read those but guys nobody can convince me we're not in these end times nobody can convince me we're not right there nobody can convince me that what this bible is telling me is inaccurate because what people have been telling me and what I'm seeing, they don't jibe. But what I'm seeing and what the Bible is saying does jibe. I'm going to believe the Bible. And I'm going to trust in my God. And I'm going to take his word for it, not man's. Because so far, man has failed me greatly. Man has lied to me greatly. But God has never lied to me. I love you guys. Take this all with a grain of salt. Do your due diligence and dedicate time to study. Don't take it for granted. Dedicate time to the Lord and study these things. You will be glad you did. And if he gives you a revelation, declare it. Don't worry about the hatred. Don't worry about the attacks. Shut the comments off on your videos. Block people on your social media. Declare the truth. Because you are planting... Right now I'm planting seeds. You are planting seeds by declaring the truth and sharing what God is giving you. It's important. Bless you all in Jesus' name, and I'll see you in the next video.